Do you know the secret reason why you should cut a roll of paper towels in half? In this video I will show you why more and more people are doing this, but what you absolutely must pay attention to and at which point you must precisely cut your roll of paper towels. I'll show you right away. I need to cut mine at this point, so I cut off the bottom part off here. Once I've done that I slightly compress the roll of paper towels to then pull out this inner cardboard tube. For this simply go in with your finger here and carefully pull on it. Go around until you manage to pull it out. Now we are prepared. Since you will need to pull the towel from the top later, you should make sure that you already have lifted the first sheet a bit. Now grab 400 milliliters of water, add to it isopropanol. This is 99.9% .9 cleaning alcohol. For 400 milliliters of water we need 3 tablespoons of the isopropanol. Additionally we need 1 tablespoon of regular dish soap. And all you need then if you want is an essential oil of your choice. This ensures that in the end everything smells really nice and pleasant. Just add 10 to 15 drops of it to the mixture. In the next step you should stir everything well together to ensure it's thoroughly mixed. And then comes the next important step. For this you need to know exactly how large your roll of paper towel should be because you need a container that fits it. Mine fits perfectly here in length. That's why I cut it at the point you saw at the beginning of the video. It might vary a little for you, depending on the size of your container. In the end the lid should still fit on it. Now pull the entire mixture over our roll of paper towels from the top. Do this carefully and wait a bit until the entire mixture has been fully absorbed by the roll of paper towels. After you've done that you should wait at least 10 minutes before using it for the first time. Then you can always put a lid on, set it aside and whenever you need you open this container and pull out a sheet. For this pull on it from the top and it should tear off at the perforation by itself. And that's how you have perfect wet wipes with which you can easily clean your kitchen or other surfaces. By the way, have you ever mixed your toothpaste with vinegar? Why you should definitely try this you'll find out in the video you now see on the screen. Click on it directly!